So I've made it to Weymouth. Um, I've just been into the Weymouth Click Sergeant shop and I'm going back to meet them. Uh, but the best thing is um, I've spoken to Liz, who's the area coordinator for uh, Click Sergeant. And I, I was glad to feedback to her that everyone I've spoken to in this area knows the Click Sergeant. So she's clearly doing a good job. Better job than me trying to find the shop again. Here we go. So this is the Click Sergeant shop at the end. Chip shop. Mm. There's no idea. So, click sergeant. So this is the click sergeant shop in Weymouth. <laughs> the wonderful volunteers, all working. Shout it back. And there we go, there's our star lady. Hi! <laughs> the manager of the shop. Your your name is for the camera? Tracy. So how did you get involved in Click Sergeant? Um, 29 years ago my son was diagnosed with uh, a urine sarcoma, which is a bone tumour in his leg. Mm -hmm. And we went to Southampton Hospital and um, unfortunately, it was right after Christmas and there was no room anywhere for my husband to stay. So he had to come back to Weymouth and I had to sleep on a chair on the floor for a fortnight. Uh, it was quite traumatic, obviously, but lucky enough, we had shared care with Dorchester, which meant I was didn't have to travel to and from Southampton. Um, and when he finished his treatment, which was only a year, thank goodness, but it was quite an intensive year, like a week in hospital yeah. every three weeks. Um, uh, I was approached by one of the ladies in the hospital, one of the matrons, and there's this, fam this couple that had worked with Click Sergeant from in Devon, and they wanted to so so set up a local branch for fundraising. So this December, my son finished his treatment, and in the May, we started up a local fundraising group That's in crazy. Weymouth. Yes, very quick. I I must admit, I didn't know what I was getting into. No. <laughs> um, it was, I've never done that sort of thing before, and it was quite a big, steep learning curve for me. But I loved it; absolutely loved it. Meeting the people it was my pleasure to chat for that yeah. sort of thing. Um, and um, so we did that for a few years. Then 24 years ago, or well, 25 years ago. I was told there was going to be a local shop opening, a click sergeant shop, and I should approach um, click sergeant in Bristol to see if there was any vacancies for paid jobs because I was working. I had to give him up my work to yeah. look after my son, so I was just doing like a lunchtime job to keep us going, but I wanted more hours yeah. and do something that was actually more fulfilling. Oh. Um, and I, when the shop opened 24 years ago on the St. Patrick's Day, I became deputy manager the day before and I've never looked back. I did have a gap of just over two years to have a baby at my, in my middle years like you do when you're older and um, came back as a volunteer and then the area, the manager here then, Christine, who'd opened the shop, decided to retire. So just nearly almost 11 years ago I became manager. I've never looked back. I absolutely love it and I can't imagine doing anything else than this. And it's great fun because you never know what it's going to be doing from one day to the next. You start to plan what you're going to do but it all goes out the window. And uh, in this area do you have, um, obviously during the winter, a lot more local community whereas at the moment I guess there's a lot of tourists that come in? Yeah, we have a lot of visitors over the winter period. At the only time it gets quiet is probably December and January probably because over the winter months you have the like four day holidays they do take into the so. in, in this January they will be chucking all their stuff for you. <laughs> yes you open on the day after Boxing Day and you the doors you never stop all their old and it's absolutely fabulous fun. because it's just like Christmas most days because yeah. you open bags up and you never know what you're going to get I mean I know that um, at Christmas sometimes we get duplicate toys mm. we, we drop them off at the yes. shop yeah and um, do you think that things like eBay and all that affects it over the years? Yes, it has. Um, we don't get so much in the way of bric-a-brac, you know, the, the like, a pretty 
Brooker Brack. We get the most run of the mill stuff. Yeah. I'm not complaining, it still sells and people always want it. But we used to get so much more. Um, but um, we have our own eBay page, our Click Sergeant. Right. And anything we think is going to do Big better, a bit more than we can get in the shop for it, it goes off to Bristol for our. our they Click Sergeant have each shop has their own page on on the eBay site, and um, that's very Do you good. get to meet any of the other families though? Um, only if they come in and meet you. We yeah. don't get told, um, obviously confidentiality. Yeah. Um, we often meet people that have come from the north of England where we haven't got any Click Sergeant shops or any fa fundraising activities. And this last week, I think it was, a couple came in, they'd lost their son in April, he was 25, and they were so thrilled to come in and see a click sergeant shop yeah. and they stood in the shop and told everybody was how good we were I and mean, what we did and it's that makes it good for the volunteers yeah, as well i've just come as you know i've just been driving around mm. the whole uk i can't believe you've done and that. and scotland and coming down like wales they all know click sergeant yes and people are approaching me going oh i'm so glad you're doing something mm. for click sergeant just on over the beach at west bay yeah and like three people come up to me and so i said oh it's brilliant click sergeant yeah we had a my son had a Ewing sarcoma and there was a young lady that lived in Bridport at the time and mm. she had the same cancer just a, two years later and we became friends via the hospital be, uh, and we've kept in contact. I, I, we had older sister came used to come to us yeah. for the weekend. So Bridport is, do know a lot about Click Sergeant and West Bay. West Bay and Bridport are sort of almost the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they're very, very good fundraisers. Yeah, it's um, yeah. Uh, quite a tight community. Um, yes, I live on Portland, and it's even oh. tighter on Portland, oh. yes, because it's old-fashioned up there still, I believe. Um, yeah, we get our regular customers, you get to know their names, their grandchildren, and, yeah. and it's like almost like people come in just for see a friendly face, especially the old elderly, and they yeah. might not see anybody. And your volunteers, are they all local? Um, do they come in for you via different channels or do you they usually most just coming through the front door they've been recommended to us phil gentleman you met coming in earlier he came in he's had touch with cancer um with his family but not childhood um mainly it's just word of mouth and just people coming in um we do have people i have a young girl that comes in she's in her 20s now started as duke and redneborough from school and she still comes in on the saturday morning to do the till for me and she doesn't want to leave ever she said so, so um but yeah we've we don't have so many elderly volunteers anymore yeah um you'd be surprised we have a lot of younger people especially if they're out of work because it helps towards their cv and referencing you know yeah it shows they're um, active in looking for work and they yeah, want to work yeah and i love that because it's a real nice mix because they they get to meet older people yeah early retirement people and things like that and um we have a great deal of fun here but lots of cakes and biscuits and cups of tea. That's great. I'm going to offer you a cup of tea in a moment. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll, have a, I'll have a black coffee. Thank oh, black you. coffee then. <laughs> thank you so much. No, you're very welcome. It's lovely to meet you, Shane. I can't believe you've been doing this. <laughs> that was quite a longer talk yeah. than I was expecting. She, she goes on, doesn't she? Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs>